Hello and welcome to YouTube. My name is Carol Devaney and I'm an Irish sheep farmer and sheep shearer and I'm currently shearing sheep over in Australia. In this video, I'm gonna break down how much money I made in a week working over here as a sheep shearer. Now I'm not making this video to just flex, oh look at me, look how much money I'm making. I'm making it because I've actually watched a lot of videos like this from business owners, YouTubers and people who work other jobs and I found them really informative and really helpful. I also get a lot of questions from young shearers, young farmers and even people just traveling abroad on social media wondering what it's like moving to a different country for a little bit of time, working somewhere else, how to avoid pitfalls and mistakes and hopefully make a little bit of money along the way. So this is a breakdown of the numbers from Monday through till Sunday. Let's get into it. On Monday, we went shearing composite ewes, which are basically sheep that have a couple of different breeds in their genetics, as opposed to a sheep that is just a single breed of sheep, for example, Suffolk or Texel or Merino. These were good shearing sheep, and I was able to do 65 to 70 of them in a two hour run, which is how long we shear for before we stop for a break. Shearing work days vary in different countries. Back home in Ireland, it's a little bit more chaotic. You just start shearing and you keep shearing until you get tired, or you run out of sheep, or it gets dark, or it starts raining. In Australia, it's a little bit more structured. We pull the cords at 7.30 a.m. and do a 10-hour day, which is made up of four two-hour runs and three breaks in between those runs. A one-hour lunch break in the middle of the day and two 30-minute smoko breaks, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. We didn't work all the way till half five on the Monday, though, because we actually ran out of sheep. There was roughly 1,000 sheep put into the shed and fasted overnight for us. But we must have been going a bit better on them than expected because we finished them shortly after three o'clock in the day. Nonetheless, I managed to shear 206 sheep in that time and at a pay rate of $4.40, that's Australian dollars, I earned a total of $906.40 on Monday. Now we do also get a couple of small allowances. We get a travel allowance every day for traveling to and from work. That's $35 daily. And we also get a $5 paper allowance. This is for these papers here that we use for grinding our blades. And that's $5. Now, because I don't yet have a vehicle over here, my travel allowance goes to whoever brings me to work. So I don't get the travel allowance, but I get the paper allowance of $5. This brings my total wages for that day to $911.40 Australian which is around 600 US dollars and about 546 or 47 euros at the time of recording. Bear in mind though, this rate is off an online currency converter and they are really only for informational purposes. What you really need to be looking at is what rate an actual company will give you in order to send your money home, which is going to be a bit less. So on Tuesday, we were back at the same farm and by our quick power cut, we had a full day of shearing from 7.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. We were on similar composite hues but we finished that bunch, or mob as they call it in Australia, about halfway through the day and went on to a different bunch. These belong to the same farmer, but they didn't shear as well as the first bunch. So the tallies, or the amount that we were doing per two hour run, decreased. And there is a couple of reasons for this. One reason is these sheep had younger lambs. Younger lambs need a lot more milk compared to older lambs that have started grazing. This puts pressure on sheep and leaves less energy for it to be put into growing out its fleece. This new bunch were also uncrutched, meaning that they hadn't been trimmed around their crutch and bum area prior to shearing, and they were quite dirty around there. But on the bright side, on that bunch of sheep, we were paid a crutching rate of $1.25 on top of the $4.40 per sheep because they were uncrutched and a bit dirty. So while we were shearing less numbers on these sheep, we were getting paid more, so it balanced out okay. Overall, I shore 225 sheep for the day on Tuesday, 166 out of the good shearing bunch, and then 59 out of the lesser shearing bunch. The first bunch was $4.40 per sheep, and then this uncrutched bunch was $5.65 per sheep. Overall, the total comes to a cool $1,068.75, including the $5 paper lens. On Wednesday, we were back at the same shed, continuing on with a bunch of uncrutched sheep. But halfway through the day, we finished the sheep on that farm that they wanted shorn for the time being. Because it was only halfway through the day, we were scheduled to do a shed change to start the sheep at the next farm and finish out the day. It's funny how it took on a Wednesday afternoon to do the first farm change of the week, two and a half days into the week. If this is back home in Ireland, where the average flock size is about 100 sheep, I'd probably have gone to about 12 farms in the week at this stage, 
I'd have drank around 45 cups of tea. I'd have told 10 different farmers that yes, I do in fact sharpen my own blades and 11 different farmers that yes, in fact, my back is sore. Overall on Wednesday, I shore 109 of the uncrut sheep at the first farm at $5.65 a head and 97 at the second farm at $4.40 a head, the normal rate. Give me a total tally for the day of 206 sheep and total money for the day at $1,047.65 along with the paper allowance. On Thursday, I went to another farm where there was both crutching and shearing to do. The farm belonged to a sound fellow by the name of Luke Malloy, who showed me his pro way bulk handler in action in an earlier video that I did. I crutched 162 sheep at Luke's at $1.25 a sheep and shore 150 at $4.40 a head which means that I earned a total of $867.50 that day. On Friday, I was back at Naringal Station, the same farm that I was working at on Wednesday. We shore for three two-hour runs today and finished shortly after 3 p.m. I shore 159 sheep in total and made $704.60. On Saturday and Sunday, we went crutching for the weekend at a large farm. Usually when you're working as a shearer in Australia or New Zealand, you'll have to do a certain amount of days crutching. It can be quite a monotonous and boring job at times, but you can also make good money doing it. We're getting a dollar and 25 cents per sheep for crutching these lambs, which doesn't sound like much, but it's a very quick job when you get used to it. I crutched 710 lambs on Saturday, but I began to get into it a lot better on Sunday and crutched 815 lambs that day. That meant for the weekend, I made a total of $1,916.25, including $10 for two days of the grinding paper lambs. So the total money I earned for seven days work is 6,580 Australian dollars before tax. So a couple of points to note. Number one, this is not an average week. This is, as far as I can tell, it's financially the best week I've ever had as a sheep shearer. There's huge variability in working in the wool industry. You could have a great week like the one I just had. The following week, it could be wet for two days and then you'd be on tough shearing merinos for three days and you could be looking at earning half or even a third of the money that you made in a good week. Number two, I worked every day that week, seven days. I was in the shed every morning before seven o'clock and coupled with the fact that shearing is a very tough job and hard on your body. I think personally, if anyone works that hard and puts up those kind of hours in any industry, they deserve to be well paid for it. Number three, shearing isn't an entry level job and you typically will not make that sort of money in your first year or even your first two years of shearing. But the good news is, in terms of ability and tallies, I'm an average here. So it's definitely achievable for a young man or a young lady to get up to the numbers I'm at and earn the money I'm making and beyond that. Number four, costs. It cost me about 1,500 euro return to get out here and get back. The Australian 12 month working holiday visa cost 635 Australian dollars a pop. And then shearing gear, probably the biggest cost that you will face as a sheep shearer. I estimate that you'll spend anywhere between three and 5,000 your a year on shearing gear as a full-time sheep year. If you've got any questions, comment below. Please check out the YouTube merch store. We ship worldwide and it's the best way to support the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you for the next one.